to me personally, I've had an ongoing conversation with Japan since I was a little kid. My first exposure, like probably most kids in America, was with Godzilla, and I was really young. And then the Micronauts, which is an American version of a Japanese toy. And I remember when I was a kid, we used to buy the regular Micronauts at the, you know, the toy store, the drug store, you know, any store. But then there was this weird little tin toy sort of antique store place in my neighborhood when I was a really little kid, and they had Micronauts there. And we call them Japanese micronauts. Things that I was familiar with were somehow being filtered through Japan and then back and forth. It seems like American pop culture and Japanese pop culture in this constant like 69 position with each other, where it's just this sort of back and forth exchange where we fuck with their shit and they fuck with our shit, and it just that's just something that just is a natural occurrence. What I just find fascinating about Japan that I don't see in other Asian countries is that, at least for me, there's an interest in both the traditional. Culture and the pop culture. I just don't like when you. I just want to see it. Just the first picture. Just show me just like a picture of your fucking face. I don't want to see. Dude, don't like dog. Like. I don't want to see all that far away shit. Just been completely steeped in everything, just from the, the architecture to the the way the signs look to just like the the, the the presentation of the vintage stuff. The way just you go to all the different Mandarake stores and just see how specific and curated everything is, and just everything is just so la laid out in such an intelligent way. And it's like I don't. Quite know how it's gonna manifest in the work, but I think that that sort of remains that sort of remains to be seen because I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly yet. Once I get, I know I'm gonna be really fucking bummed when I go back to New York, and I think somehow, like my yearning to come back here is gonna manifest in whatever I produce. Although I don't quite know what it's gonna look like. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to incorporate the experience specifically, and I don't even know it's going to be like a one-to-one -one thing. Like, oh, I saw this thing in Japan. I'm going to make something based on it. I think it doesn't work that way. It's more of a sort of psychedelic experience where just be all the shit just goes in your head, goes all the way back into your subconscious mind, and does something there, and then comes back out as a not you know a direct link, but just sort of just. Uh, a sense of things. <laughs> now that I've been here and it seems a little less overwhelming, I was able to take the train by myself and find my way around a little bit and just feel super comfortable here. And uh, just like. The lifestyle is incredible. The eating culture is just fantastic. Just the way people are in the, in the restaurants, especially the itzikayas, where just everybody's so excited about everything, and the people bringing you the food and making the food, and everybody's just so psyched. Like the eating just never gets boring, and every time you go sit down and eat, it's just like this celebration. It's just the most basic thing: just eating and talking to your friends and drinking beer, and it's just like it's. And everybody's just so fucking happy and excited. He's Data Dub. I'm the Suck Lord. If you use our civilian names in any professional capacity, you're fired. This is the official psychedelic signature.
there's is, is it successful enough to justify the whole exercise. You know, I don't have any expectations, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm a businessman and I'm practically minded. And all the idealism and all the all the big talk is fine, but at the end of the day, if the people don't buy it, it's really difficult justifying continuing to do it. I hate that that's the fact, but you know, it's the way the world works. And I guess we'll see. I don't, I don't know if, like, if this show doesn't sell out tonight, but I guess we'll, we'll see about that. I have yet to met, meet or interact with one Japanese woman, except um, you know the woman that works here. So uh, we'll see. Everyone seems really super fucking friendly, and it seems sincere. But I can't. It's I can't tell. I can't fucking tell if if what if anybody really gives a shit or not. おまじめにふざけられる人。うん。うん。で、なんかこういうものとかも広く普通の人にとったらすごく普通の人にとったらすごくあのどうでもいいことかもしれないけど、でもなんかそういうところをすごく大まじにこう楽しんでふざけてる
went pretty well. I mean, you know, we weren't charging a ridiculous amount of money, but I think, you know, as a first, you know, attempt, it went well and it gave me a good sense of uh, what has traction and what doesn't. So when I come back again, I can refine the work a little bit more. The future for the Suck Lord is currently, thankfully, somewhat open. A lot of my older ways of doing things, you know, both personally and creatively, are come to their conclusion. And I need to go back to New York now and reassess my career and focus a little bit more on what's really important, what's really working. Man, it's fucking great here. And I didn't realize how livable it was. And I'm really... Part, part of me is considering just fucking moving here. I see a lot of white guys who've chosen to live here and they all seem really fucking happy. I wonder if I'd get sick of it. I guess we'll see.